Well, it's day two of the port strikes out on the east coast of the USA, and I have no clue when this is going to end. I have no insights whatsoever as to is this going to last a month or two months or into next year? Who knows? But first off, I just want to say that regardless of all of that, when it's going to end, whether it's soon or later, the whole point of the video is just to get a conversation going with you guys what do you think the consequences of this will be for the american economy for the average american individual if it goes too long and of course will this have repercussions on the inland transportation of freight that is the ground truck drivers the cdl holders out there that are do doing the over the road type of transportation where do you guys think this may lead in terms of other types of potential new unions or potentially people getting together uh, in different groups and saying, all right, since they did it, I guess it's time for us to do it as well. Now, they just, they just did not agree or did not approve an offer of above 50% raises for the next six years or so. They're looking for 77% wage increases in the next seven years, roughly or so, six or seven years. So, I mean, do you, do you know any other industry that does this? Do you have any other industry where a worker can ask for a 77% raise and uh, shut down the entire economy doing it as well? So obviously there's a lot to this, right? We can blame and point fingers and everything else. My question to you, and please let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts and opinions on unions, on the union leader that is doing this as well in terms of coming out with the public service announcements about all this stuff? Do you see an end in sight soon? Do you think this is going to last for a while? What are your thoughts and what will happen moving forward? How will this impact the logistics, the trucking world, the import-export world when it comes to shipping when it comes to logistics how will this affect everything moving forward in this respect so the dock workers are going to be waiting they're going to be waiting until they get their demands met and we'll see how long that's going to go it's um, coincidentally happening in canada as well up here at the port of montreal where we got a strike going on as well there's been some rumblings as uh, in terms of some stuff going out in the west coast we'll see what transpires there we can't really talk about it because there's no evidence or facts about it but if this thing spreads or takes a long time to to go where it needs to go you know we we got to really see what will happen in my in my fair opinion i don't believe even even after let's say it takes a month sure rates will go up a little bit because capacity will be tight that's all fine and dandy but the problem is once that's all cleared up, we go back to the real bad rates that we've been seeing for the past two years or so, a little bit over two years. I want to say about 27 going on 28 months now. So I guess we'll see where that all takes us. But interesting world that we live in this week has been crazy on all fronts, not just logistics. Um, I guess you guys probably already know what other things have been going on. In all, in all other cases, let me know in the comments what you think. Give this channel a like, a subscribe. Check out the things we got going on the channel. Lots of educational content for some of you that are in logistics. It's good for truckers, good for company owners, good for freight brokers, freight forwarders, shippers, and everyone else alike. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.